Well, the Chiefs are making some big news on this first day of free agency. Alex Smith now officially their starting quarterback, and I think you know where I stand on that one. I'm good with it. I was a little surprised now to see them sign Chase Daniel, the former Missouri quarterback. He's done very little in his five years in the NFL. He is what you can describe as nothing but a backup. The Chiefs had to see something in Daniel that most people around the league failed to recognize. They gave him a three-year contract for $9 million. He's been a backup to Drew Brees at New Orleans. He didn't start a game down there yet. But anyhow, the Chiefs are giving him $9 million over three years. Figure that up, folks. Daniels has thrown a grand total of nine passes in his professional career. He was making a million with the Saints. The Chiefs giving him three times that much. Good for him. Then mark this one down. You will never hear me say that Clark Hunt is a tight one. All right, there's what we should feel good about with this whole free agency thing. The Chiefs went out and got the best tight end on the market in Anthony Fasano of the Miami Dolphins. He will be a welcomed addition to the roster. Maury Aki can't stay healthy anymore. They had to do something there. They had to do something about this tight end thing. And they also got defensive tackle Mike DeVito of the Jets. This all looks pretty good on paper. But you know what? It's very clear this new regime is going to shake it up and they are not going to stop now. And I don't know how long it's going to take before they're any good, but they've certainly got everyone's attention. I like that. That's Jack Smack.